What's up everybody? Random rider here. <clears throat> and I'm going for a ride, which is probably really stupid because they say it's scattered thunderstorms throughout the day. But it's been nice the entire day. So I'm taking my chances. Not that I care about getting about riding in the rain, I just don't want to get wet really, but whatever. And if <clears throat> the scattered thunderstorms that happened recently are in the indication, it's one hell of a rain, so we'll see how that goes anyways as you saw from my uh, little video on the mountain bike I picked up a mountain bike I got back into mountain biking um, <clears throat> I've been out of it for quite a while you know I was back in the day of just rigid frames when there was no suspension on mountain bikes even though that video was a proper fail because the thumbnail gives it away because I couldn't fix the thumbnail um, where was I uh, yeah let me tell you I'm glad I did my research because holy crap have mountain bikes changed in technology. Disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, uh, suspension, either hardtail or full suspension on the bike. It's pretty nuts. I have to say so, it's pretty nuts. Um, and the pricing has gone up obviously because of that. So doing the research, I was like, wow. My initial guesstimate of what I would be spending on a mountain bike was off. Um, I looked at what was good, you know, for a decent enough price range, and I made a budget accordingly and I got a deal, so it was good. But I was just surprised. I was not expecting the amount of money that mountain bikes cost these days. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's really weird, and I suggest if you haven't looked into it, to definitely look into it if you're interested. That way you can build a proper budget for yourself, because some of the prices I was looking at, I was sure they made an error. <laughs> I was sure that they were probably pricing a motorcycle, and not a bicycle. There's no motor. You're the motor. I don't understand it. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I don't even have a kickstand on my bike, but for mountain biking, you don't really want a kickstand, so that's why I opted out of the kickstand. That, and it costs extra to get a kickstand on a bike that doesn't come with one, obviously. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I've always liked mountain biking, and I've always liked the idea of mountain bikes over just regular road bikes, um, because, you know, you can easily take a mountain bike on sidewalks, on tarmac, on asphalt, you know, on roads, you know, where a road bike would go it may not be the most efficient thing in terms of your positioning on the bike and uh, your bike's capabilities or whatever, maybe or its gearing, I don't know, it may not be the most efficient thing, but then just as easily you can take that same bike and just, you know, right away just go off the beaten path onto grass, onto dirt, no problem. Um, you can take trails like single track trails or wide trails fire road type stuff on a mountain bike no problem and just easy just as easily pop right back onto a regular sidewalk or road to ride on so you really have no limitations of where you can ride <coughs> and i figure you know that that's the fun part because maybe just bicycling along on a regular old path or whatever that's cool it's refreshing but the ability to just go, hey, that's a trail. I'm going to go jump off of this path and go onto that path and have fun. To me, it's just more fun. Uh, it's kind of why I like dual, well, not kind of, it's the same reason I, I went from a sport bike to a dual sport bike. Just because, um, yeah, I can go on roads as I often do. But uh, whenever I actually get the opportunity, I can just go right onto gravel, dirt, no problem. Uh, pretty much any motorcycle can do that, but the ability to have the bike that can that can do it well and that's kind of what it's meant for to me it just opens up more opportunity and more fun so that's why I went with a mountain bike and um, here on Long Island there are no mountains uh, it's very hilly in certain areas let me tell you the, uh, the hill climbs you do in certain areas are, are pretty steep but there's no real mountains so there's actually a group on Long Island I think I call Climb with a B not K-L-I-M but C-L-I-M-B um, that actually maintain the trails on Long Island and try to open up new trails and do group stuff and 
seminars and teaching and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, there's lo loads of information there about Long Island mountain biking. And it's still, it's still good fun. It's really nice because um, there's no cars to contend with, obviously, on, on, the, on the bicycle paths. Just other bicyclists and, and joggers. But um, what's nice is once you actually get onto the dirt, onto the uh, single track style paths, or even just like the wider dirt paths, is the amount of um, traffic you have to deal with is definitely significantly less. Um, which is always good. So, yeah, mountain biking. It's a lot of fun. I know that from doing it in the past and doing it again now. Um, but uh, I already got a flat in my rear tire. It's not like a puncture. I don't know what it is, uh, but it wasn't flat. It might be a very, it's a very slow, slow, slow air leak that I discovered. But um, the place that I got it from, they'll do anything to the bike in terms of repairing it and fixing it and replacing parts for free for a year. So I'm just going to eventually bring it back to them. I filled it up with air again. And that's why I noticed a slow, slow air leak. But, you know, I can definitely just make double check the air pressure, go for a ride and come back, and it won't be an issue. But I, I will eventually get it fixed because there's no reason not to, especially when it's free. Anyways, um, that's really it. Check that out. <laughs> and, um, yeah, take it easy.